Um, not at me if you can change the content on your own website. If you can change your own content, not at me. Do this if you can't change your own content. How a few of you do this. Okay, who knows what a content management system is? What is a content management system? Uh, it's your website designed so you can access it via the web to change, to change stuff. On a WYSIWYG basis, what you see is what you get. Um, anybody know what the world's best selling content management system is? Contribute from Adobe now. Adobe, yeah. So um, visit adobe.com, top right hand corner, click on the UK, get to the UK. Uh, it's massive, this website. Go to products, find contribute, and check it out. It's £105. Now, there's someone sitting in this room who I won't look at who has quoted £2,500 for a content management system. I better not tell you what the fee that I'm working with on this guy, but it was a bit less than that, I think, from memory. <coughs> and he said, hang on a minute, you're telling me I can um, get a content management system for £105. It does at least as much, if not more, than the one that I was quoted. Now, you know what? going apoplectic means, right? <laughs> he was about to go and sort these people out with a shovel, you know what I'm talking about? And he said, so I can get all this for 105 quid? What's the catch? And I said, well, there's no catch. It sells in massive quantities. It's got an awful lot of details packed into it. Check it out. Okay? And if you can't change your own content, you're stuffed. Yeah? So get that product. Yes, Carl. If you've already got a website, you can't change it and your website design has gone away and you've got to buy one of these. Can you actually redesign? Oh, oh, only if you can get hold of the username and password and whatnot to actually access the site, which is your property. But if these people have gone away, gone away, um, you're probably stuffed, isn't you? No. No. You need to find out where the website's been hosted. Right. Um, who is? Who is? Who is? Who is Mike Tuck? Tell you. Who is Tuck? Speak to yeah, him. There's a dispute process. Nominet gives a dispute process. Is that the fact? Yeah. Yeah. Um, who is tells you who owns the website and all the rest of it? Um, Carla, speak to Chris at the front or Chris over there. Anybody want to call Chris? Yes, just check the Okay. So, um, the, the thing, thing about search engines is this <coughs> it's only a phase. We've only got search engines in this way for a few years. Um, this is not the way it's going to be in the future. I wouldn't bank on this as a business strategy uh, for more than about three years. It's going to it change blindingly fast. As Walter said, it would be a very kind opening remarks. Google doesn't know what's going to happen with its business, which is why it's doing things like buying YouTube and other things, right? It doesn't know. And search engines are a bit of a crazy way of finding stuff. So it's all going to change. So I wouldn't bank just on search engines, and there are buckets to deal with anyway, and you'll, you find yourself top of the pops, but only for a short period of time. But for most people I talk to, I say get a conceptual understanding, understand meta tags, you know, understand a little bit about HTML, um, these sites that I've just mentioned to you, and then you can talk to someone that is an expert, um, you know, at their level. Does that make sense? And if you want any more support on that, give me a ring and I'll do what I can to help you. This is a big subject. Now, as we finish then, I know I'm running just slightly over time. Notice that on my branches, then, we've gone through all these branches. Here we are finally at branch nine, and we're asking for money. Time and time and time again, we see a website that pretty early on says, Give me your cash. And you think, No thanks. Because what we've got to do online, just like in real life, is to build a trusted brand, isn't it? We've got to build a trusted brand, prove that we can deliver. That's why some time ago I realized on my site, egomaniac that I am, it might be better to have my clients talking about me with testimonials and images of them and maybe case studies and proof rather than me banging on how brilliant I am, yada, 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 because you, do you care? No, you don't care. And I know you don't care. Helen, you don't care. You know. What you want is results for your business, and too right. So that's what they want. When they come to your website, they don't really care about how long you've been around, or you know, all that stuff about how many people you've got, or how knowledgeable you are, or what qualifications, all that stuff. What they want to know is, is this website or person 
going to solve a problem for them? Have they done it before? Do they look as if they know what they're talking about? Can they prove that they've got that um, um, experience behind them? That's why I generally say to business owners, scatter testimonial statements throughout the entire site, not just in the testimonials page. Why would someone visit the testimonials page? You can have that too, but have the testimonials and company logos maybe, and all the rest of it, in, as the warp and weft, you know carpets, like one or the one? Make them part of the warp and weft of the website. Um, so that continually, it's not you banging on about how great you are, but it's your clients and customers saying that. <coughs> exactly like they do, say, within the e academy <coughs> networking fraternity, where you know, they, they publish uh, information and feedback from other people to say how good you are. Okay. Now we're at branch 10 and the metrics. With the metrics, what you need. I thought that door was locked, actually. <laughs> With the metrics, what you now need, branch 10, you've done all that work, and you're now getting feedback. What's the feedback that I'm interested in? How often the phone is ringing? How many people email me with a request for a proposal or something? How many times do people uh, come up to me and say, yeah, you know, nice speech or nice website, could you help me with such and such? Now, after that, of course I'm interested in hits, you need visitors and all that jazz. But to be quite honest with you, I'm so busy and fighting off clients with a big stick that I don't pay a great deal of attention to that. I probably should do, shouldn't I? But I don't. Because what's happening with my world is that all the little things I do, which I've been talking to you about this evening, it works enough to keep the, uh, the Temple family fed. Okay? So we just go through objectives. I'm always thinking about that. I'm thinking about the market segments that I'm serving. Positioning, differentiation, and the website itself building relationships all the time, the words that I'm writing and how to produce more of them, uh, how to maybe work better with my search engines and search engine marketing. Uh, is the e-commerce working well? And if all of that's working, I don't have to worry. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nigel Temple. I really appreciate you listening to me. That's it, and I wish you a safe journey home.